It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Rodgers ready for the snap, empty backfield. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. Devontae Adams makes the catch. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Rodgers' completion percentage, 40% on the day. It's first down as they head to the line. From the gun, Rodgers. The Packers now move the chains. Taking another look at the stats here, we have a wide receiver who has put together a complete game, Phil. It has been a tremendous game, Jim, no doubt about it. Now we understand why guys want to be wide receivers in the NFL instead of running back. So many more ways to get the football and much easier to make plays happen once you get it. Incomplete. The hit jarred the ball loose. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot and the throw goes incomplete. At the 22-yard line, here they come. The Seahawks defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Second down and 10. One for the home run. Makes the catch but didn't get the feet down. Incomplete. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage, and there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Third down. Aaron Rodgers going to take it from the shotgun. Starks has the catch. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Good job by the defense at time. They play smart. Third and long, cover the deep receivers, make the quarterback throw it short on third and long. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. The Packers turn the ball over on downs. The Packers go for it on fourth down, and they do not get it done. Now it's up to their defense to bail them out. The Seahawks coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep the defense guessing at what you're going to do. So I think it's very important to stay impressive in this situation. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Michael lined up in the backfield. The give. He's tackled right at the 24. Michael's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. And he's going to be dropped with a sack, and they're going to be punting after a short series. we got to give that defense in front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing, they're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. All set to punt here. going to take this one from the 28. Two minutes, 
two minutes remaining in the game. Welcome back. Coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. The Packers taking the field again on offense. They paid the price for an aggressive decision on their last possession. Passing up on the field goal attempt and going for it on fourth down, then coming up short. Yeah, look, no second guessing for me on that. I'll just say this. I'll give the defense a lot of credit. They were there. They were ready for the situation. They made the play, and that's why the offense came away with no points. How do you think the offense is feeling right now after that coach's decision? Well, shoot, they're disappointed. The coach believed in them. You know, they know the coach is showing faith. Well, he showed faith, and they, they let him down. And it's spotted away. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. The line of scrimmage, the 48. The Packers come out with a split backfield. Third and five. Launching it deep. Got a flag. That's on the Defense. Here they come to the line of scrimmage at the 12. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Stands in the pocket. Rodgers marked down after a gain of four. Rodgers backed off the line. Shotgun formation. Rodgers on the move. Cuts down in the late stages. Aaron Rodgers with the touchdown run. And he can beat you a lot of ways, Phil. Well, we've seen that arm many, many times. But he has great feet. They are quick. And when he decides to take off, he's fast, too. Aaron Rodgers has it all. The Packers for the extra point. The point after is good. The Seahawks still have a good hold on this game. They'll just need to try and avoid turnovers here in the fourth. Scores. 21 to 7. The Packers now, no doubt, will onside kick it. They have been fighting an uphill battle, and they had to recover that onside kick. Well, it was a tough spot for him, Jim. We know that. When you're going for the onside kick, and you're trying to recover it, I think your chances are about 1 out of 10. At that time, it was not on their side. The Seahawks got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out. I would have to think it would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense. But I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense. Because they need to sit on the sidelines and get a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. It's a two tight end formation. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 40. They'll mark him at the 40. The Packers use another timeout here, and they have one left. Following that timeout, defense back out on the field. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Packers official. They wouldn't specifically say what the injury was other than it's an upper body injury that won't stop him 
from returning. Back to you. Third and ten. Holman's handed the football. Timeout called by the defensive unit. The defense needed to slow this game down. That timeout might be very useful. Now they're ready to go. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. The Packers line up, split backfield. First down at the 20. Looking long. Snatches it with one hand. Phil, that's one of the best one-handed catches we've seen all year, isn't it? Jim, that's one of the best. You don't see many this outstanding in these wide receivers. If they can't get two hands on the football, they've taught themselves over time just to go up and stretch his What a catch. Touchdown. by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. The Packers now will tack on the extra point. It's good. Everyone in the building knows this is going to be an onside kick. The Packers need a score, so they're going to be going with an onside kick. Everything hinged on them recovering that onside kick, and they failed to do so. Well, Jim, when you're doing the onside kick, you really got to hope for that perfect bounce of the football. That time it did not happen. That's why they didn't recover. The Packers defense has not made a stop for a loss throughout the game, and now they'll finally get one as a result of a kneel down to close it out. Hey, man, you are tough. Yeah, I tell you. Well, you, you kind of explained the whole day, didn't you, about this defense. It just was not their day. They did not play well. They were not tough enough or physical enough and they didn't have the emotion that you have to have on the defensive side here in the NFL. This was a hard-fought game, partner, but somebody had to lose. Oh, man, nothing worse than being such a hard-fought game. It's physical. You, you get hit a lot. It's, it's rough and tough. And then you go in the locker room and you still lost a close one. Tough to take. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.